All right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yes, today is going to be a little bit different. We are going to uh, look at the upcoming plans for the city. Look at that deck. Is that cool? Yeah, it is. I I guess. All right, so I did a lot of work. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Mr. Bees, Mr. Horse, Mr. Porsche, Mr. Chicken, Mr. Bee. That's a cute little bee. Ooh, scary. I think it's going to sting me. Yeah, we'll leave the Mustang here. So, real quickly, it's a, it's a miserable, miserable day in Chicago. Rainy and just gloomy. However... It's a beautiful day to play mind test gameplay of sorts. Exactly. So what we have so far is in, I'm going to bring your attention to the roadway. <laughs> Yay. There's the orchard, the um, nature house, art house. And I've been doing a lot of work. Oh yeah. The villa. Beautiful. Been doing a lot of work. The house that I, oh, treehouse. <laughs> and I, you know what I should do is I really need to put names for the houses. There's a luxury hotel over there. Everything's not loading in. Quickly, concrete, one of the, well, one of the concrete houses. We have the newly done house. A couple houses back here. Very nice. One of my favorites. The Oasis house. Very cool. Then we come over here. Um, sandstone house, stone house. Castle is off in the distance here. Well, since we're going around, might as well. There's a castle. Very lovely. Uh, this is the cyan house. So the roadway comes up here. Here is the actual cyan house. And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do like a um a series on just walkthroughs. There's the um chivalry house from the it's taking off of the designer chivalry. Minecraft. I just love that house, so I built it. The uh, concrete house with opening gates. Come on. You can do it. There we go. <laughs> oh, my. Every, I, I don't script these shows, and there's a reason why. I like the element of just um, being in the moment, just doing it. Am I lazy? That I am. However, there's just some, I, I do script a little bit of it. I hit points that I want to hit. So we have over here, this was one of my, where I started really learning about building, but I missed up. Got to go back over here because we missed the, there's the fire station, the um, fire lookout tower. Updated some graphics on the computers just to give. Now we have a map. And I played with that very interestingly. This is the computer deco mod. And I just mimicked the same size of the of the mod developers images and renamed it one of one of his. So that's the actual wallpaper from my from my uh Linux box. Cool. Very cool. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do just to personalize and make stuff yours. And that's, that's what really tight, really makes this game unique is that you can play around with the code and the graphics and anything you want to make this your own. There's the circular restaurant, which I updated the chandelier in. Very nice. We have fire station, 
then we come up here. So this stuff is going to get moved. The concert area is going to get moved over here. So it looks a little more realistic. Here's the junkyard. <laughs> yeah. It's not actually a junkyard. It's just where I did a lot of um, tutorial builds and different colors and different, you know, trying out different techniques when people had questions and some cool lighting styles that I did. But yeah, so where's the road? There's the road. This, all this road is brand new. So I, I kept this the same, did the road. We're not gonna be able to see anything. Come on. There we go. So this road comes over here. And what I did is I still have to fix the lighting here. I don't know why it won't, it won't fix the, so basically what you do is we're going to come over here and we're going to try to fix the lighting here. And that is done by selecting an area, going back into world edit and fix lighting. And I think I just made it worse. Huh. I don't, hmm, I don't know how that happened. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. We'll let that like re-update re or something. I think that actually looks like, so I, I continue to road out here. And I use concrete even though I have these, you know, you can't put, these uh, markings here because these are half half blocks, but you get the idea. So now we have all the houses here. This is an existing house, which I'm gonna put, add some windows and update, take the swimming pool out because you don't need it over here. Here's the un ocean house and there's the other house. There's gonna be a driveway leading up to these and that's what that road is for. And I'm going to put some windows in here because I really do like this house and I want it, I want it to look cool. So if we do, you know, the replacement tool is awesome if you, if you know how to do it correctly. So we're just going to put some windows in here just to give it a artsy kind of, you know what? That looks really cool. That really, that, that really, that really looks cool. I'm going to leave that like that for a while just to see how, now that was stupid. However, you know what would go there though? Okay, so we come over here, gotta stop, and I moved the space house, space invader house, up. It used to sit back there, that's why that area's the lighting is off. And then this house that I built, that still doesn't have an interior, and then the log cabin, which does have an interior, which is a really cool house. So we have the log cabin house. These are these are basically all cabins. They, and they're okay. Then over here, the road's unfinished. This goes off into the, what I call the grain creepy house. This is a, a kind of learning challenge that I built off of a YouTuber's house. Uh, I was building a haunted house. And there's a haunted version of it with a roller coaster. And you could see that one in the previous videos. I just liked the house and there was a bunch of building techniques that I learned from doing that house. So I kept it. So then we come over here, this road extends. I've been busy. And to do these roads, I didn't use the Digtron. I just used uh, the stack method. As you can see, all the, <laughs> all the debris left behind. However, I had to fill it in. So I, you know, I moved it down where it was supposed to be. Made a lot of mistakes. And had to fill in and, and re-feather in the 
landscaping to make it look good and replant trees. So we come over here and I made a big, huge mistake that took me about an hour to clean up. Now there was something in here. Uh, I think it's in the street mod. This, there it is. This is the old streets mod. Nathan had um, done a video on Streets 2.0. And I haven't played with it yet because there's a lot of cool things in there that I'd like to use. So you come down here and all this area is brand new. All this had to be built in. I'm still feathering it and making it look uh, realistic. This whole area here. I accidentally, this area here, if you remember from previous videos, this was all open. I closed it. And in the process of doing it, I accidentally inputted the stat command of 200, which killed all this. I had to go back through and redo all this. Yeah, it was not fun. It, um, it went, I hit the end of the world. Ah, there we go. Because here's a train station. This area over here has like a nature park and the train set up and this was a, a it's a nice house it's small i have to renovate it but that uh it almost killed everything you could see where the grass still hasn't grown in yet so you have to be very careful when using the stack command because you will kill your area now over here i don't want to move this because this has, this is going to be a parking lot. These are the new brick walkway. This is the, the general convenience store. I want to get a cup of coffee while I'm in here. Thank you. So this is, the, this is a general convenience store, and it's just built off of dispenser blocks, push buttons, item frames, some display frames. It looks really, really cool. It well in in my in my eyes it does. <laughs> so, but I don't want to move it because there's an awful lot of um, stuff attributed to it. So you put wheat seeds in here, and it will automatically go down into the uh, filter injector. There's a solar panel array over here and a low voltage or a switching station. For low voltage what this does and i redid this back area here to make the colors better is it comes down or you can put seeds in here the seeds that go in here feed the dispensers up top but the wheat seeds that are put in the back come down here there's a battery box off of the low voltage they go into the grinder they grind in the flour, then they come into the oven, go and make bread, and then they go up into the dispenser. So that's really cool. I don't know if I, if I successfully move this entire area, if that's going to mess with everything, and I don't want to find out. However, this area back here is possibly for the new barn. The reason why is we have this over here. I'm still not sure. I, I changed the glass. This is like a greenhouse, little animal part. I can use this building minus this stuff here. This is just goofy. I don't, you know what? I really don't know what I was thinking on some of this stuff. It, what, what looked good at the time just turned out to be a bad idea. I can replace this door with a barn door like I used in the uh, the orchard. I could do that. This is just, this makes no sense. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to cap that off or put a, put a, oh, put a ladder there. That will, that will work for that. And I, I want to keep this. I don't really like getting rid of buildings unless I really need the space. 
and I don't. So off in the distance over here, you have the biodome, and then you have this area here. I'm gonna expand this area and try to keep this building and then put a put a more or less a barn back here. Now that also, because this is, a, this the idea of this is that people would go to the learning center and the biodome. And then here you have a, you have a small working greenhouse and animal, you, uh, like an animal facility. And then everything that's grown here in the farm, community farm, is for sale here. And you can get in there. And everything that's in there is what is found over here at the farm. So we come over here, we have a little fishery, all the fish are jumped out of the water. So, <laughs> yes. <sighs> I mean, I can move this stuff, but, you know, I have crops growing here, and, you know, we have corn, watermelon, uh, wheat, strawberries, you know, we, we have all different plants here. This, more and more I look at this, this is just, it's it's supposed to represent like a marsh area where you can you can come up here and you can observe things. It's kind of cool, but yeah. So the road's going to come here. This is an area going to be for the parking lot. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to use for the parking lot because... So this will be the entrance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... So we can do this, do this, we can stack this, we'll go 15. Let's see how much this actually is. We can go 25. And it, I kid you not, if you're not careful, and I, I don't, I still don't have rollback enabled. One, two, three, four, five. We can go five more, so we can actually go 30. I accidentally hit in 200 on the other one. Okay, so that, that brings that back here. However, I don't want to make this entire area parking. I want to kind of give it that. So if we... We know a car is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll give it, we'll just say eight. We're going to give it eight. Nine, ten, eleven. You know what we could do? We could just do right here. So right here, we are going to... That's the wrong, that's not even screwed... Why did I do that? We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We are going to stack that twelve and see how that looks because it looks kind of cool because everything else is going to be, it's going to be nature. Okay, so there's the parking. Man, you can hear it rain. I, you probably can't hear it on the on the microphone, but it is pouring. We were supposed to have a walkathon, um, a heart a heart association walkathon today. However, it's been rescheduled. Okay, so that's going to be parking area, and I you know I can expand that a little bit, but everything over here is going to be nature stuff. Um, the roadway is going to come, it's going to come off of here, come around here. This is gone because it's going to be the edge of this parking lot, which is going to go up here and link up. The, there's going to be a, a driveway that'll come back all the way over here. See, that? that's kind of... That's kind of weird. I'm going to make it work. The, the driveway is actually going to come around here and hug that tree and go off here. 
and that's going to go there. You know what I'm going to do? I like the idea. This is, anything and and anything that's bare is going to have trees in it. So this needs to go bye bye. Now th before I kill this house, all the stuff here. This is off of. Uh, this is from the developer of my deck. Um, these blocks that have special lines through them. And I've shown them in previous videos. There's a block making machine over there. But the gutters and the gutter systems and everything are from my fascia. Which is the same. Oh, that's backwards. Why did that do that? I wonder why that did that. You know what? It doesn't matter because in about five seconds, this house is history. Uh, uh, there's actually, you have a, there's a gutter machine that will, uh, the gutter machine will produce all those gutters, similar to how you do the decks. So what we are going to do is, this is position one. Unfortunately, there's just things that I built early in, um, that just don't make any sense. This has all been filled in. It's still there. It can be used. As a matter of fact, it will be. And this, this deck, the deck is actually really cool, but it never made sense. So, ooh, I forgot about something. That's going to take everything with it. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I know I'm moving around a lot because I'm lagging. So we're going to position two here. And this all this is going bye-bye. I don't even want to save it because I'll just redo it. So we are going to set nodes as air. That's gone. So what this... This whole video here is just going to be, yeah, we kind of, kind of mess with that. Wow. I must have hit something wrong here. Oh, I toggled inspect. But those decks can be easily replicated. There were certain things about this area that I really liked. Uh, we can save see that's kind of cool but for right now we are just going to cap this off because it doesn't make it does not make much sense so we are going to go here label this one I did this wrong, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because everything is fixable. And we two, one, two, it's on there. We are going to stack this by 12. Let's see how badly I screw up. Oh, not at all. We can go 14. Make sure it's that. For whatever reason, I don't have. So I can I can reuse this area, which I, I'm I'm going to. All this parking lot area is gone. If I really if I really would have thought this out, and I have been I have been thinking about this. How do I want to lay this out to where everything's going to fit? We are going to keep that lamp pole for now. Another item up here on the chopping block. This is going to get leveled out a little bit. I might keep that house. That house, the house is going possibly because this is going to just turn into a workshop, a single level workshop. As much as it pains me, 
that's going. Okay, so we have here the roadway is going to curve around. And it doesn't make any sense. Uh, this building is going to get revamped. The uh, greenhouse will get revamped. This is going to get lowered. This is gone. The jury's out on this one. Gone. Keeping, but I have to get that down to ground level. The street, all the streets are gone. Um, this house is going to be remodeled into something better. But there's no way to bring a street back here because this is a forest area with a path and a pond that I built, which leads all the way back to the waterfall house. And I did update. There's a lip around the fireplace, which turned out really cool. I've also been playing with the settings for the video, and I'm going to leave a link in the description on the on the explanations to the anti-lazing and the different filters when you get into the game, when uh, the settings screen. And I've been playing around with those, and I can I've, I'm sort of coming up on something usable. So over here, there's going to be a garage over here, and it's going to be half buried into the ground here. Look at all those dead animals. But I don't want to move these trees because I like them where they're at. And I'm going to put some more trees, but there's going to be a path from the front door that's going to come around here. And then the garage over here, which is going to have the dry, the path will lead up to the driveway. The driveway will come out here. And the driveway is actually going to come over here. So we're going to be even with this. All this is, even though I really do like the asphalt because of how the person um, did in the streets mod did this with the lines. The lines actually follow up and complete. I don't like the color. I like, I, it, the color, there's nothing wrong with the color, but in, in the way that I want to use it, there is. I really don't want to move the crops. I like the idea of having the biodome and the little farm buildings and the, and the convenience store here with the crops over here. In addition to the crops over here. And I can put a barn right here. And I can do something with this area back here. And we also have... The train tunnel pokes its head out. Where is that at? It's over here. There it is. No, it's not. Where are you, train tunnel? You are over here. Why do you do that to me? It's over here. Where the train tunnel pokes its head out of the area. So... That's good. This is going to do it for this episode. This is kind of a weird episode, but it's a, it's a big, huge overview of what's coming. And so we have an area in here. We have parking. We have this here, which I'm going to do something to it. And then the street is going to curve off. And come over here and meet up here to come up here to this area. And I, you know, I, I might actually just sit here and just remove everything. But this is the workshop where I would play with all the different machines. Like here is the uh, brick machine and the sign making machine. And oh, this is the, um, the machine for making all the fascia. And the gutters and stuff like that. And you put in steel ingot, white dye. And then we have over here the siding machine. And this puts your siding on. These are all from the developer of the uh, My Deck Mods, which all the links are in the, in the show notes, including updates that I had put in there. I for, uh, forgot to put the arcs in the, in the fancy stained glass, but they're in there now. And here's the deck machine, which I love, and um, different uh, coloring And that's a juicing machine. Nathan should recognize those because that's from his mods. We have a furnace. 
just a bunch of stuff over here. Um, storage. This is where I would come and play with all the little different machines when I would do mods and stuff like that. Uh, my siding, or um, not my siding. This is the, uh, it, it makes decorative walls. Secret squirrel area back here. So there's a lot of stuff back here that I kind of don't want to get rid of. And where that comes into play. But you can see how it, none of this stuff really... Uh, it, those patio pavers are from that mod and the wall. But this ain't the wall from it. This is just a cobblestone wall. You can see how a lot of this stuff just doesn't gel together. This was back when I first started the channel, all this stuff. And that is why I never did anything with this. The, this had beautiful views. What I did do is the supercar garage. And it kind of looks a little corny, but I like it. It's really cool. The There's a little workshop back here. There's a little secret area. We have, you know, work stuff. There's safes with stuff in it I forgot about. And... <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just a real cool on its own it's neat, but how it's positioned in the house it's just goofy. So I want to I want to make all this gel together. And this and that house is from um Insta Buildings and Serenity was an actual download that you could do. You could find it on the forums and you could just pop houses in. And this was another house. There's little warehouses and stuff like that that you can pop in. This was supposed to be like a little convenience store, but you can see it's real small and it'd take really a lot to make that work. So that's it for this episode. Um, I filled in all the holes over here. So this is going to be all revamped. And there you have it. So... Yeah, I'm going to continue that road and go from there. So you can think of what you would do in this situation here. Uh, I could actually lower this whole area one to make it even. But I, I, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that, but this, this area is finally going to get tied together. So um, instead of rambling on senselessly, I'm going to leave this at here. In the next episode, I'm going to actually finish the roadway, bring it up, and we'll start tying in all these center areas and actually doing some building. So that's an overview of what everything is going to happen. And then a pathway down here to the learning center. And that'll go from there. So thank you very much for watching. The next, uh, hopefully this was entertaining for you. The next episode will show more progress and we'll go on with that. So everybody have a warm, safe, dry, uh, next couple days till next video. And thanks for watching and goodbye.